Well, I got the job. There's always a constant stream of getting data, looking at data, um, shaping data, uh, coming up with uh, uh, different approaches, being creative with approaches. What am I going to be looking at today? Um, what kind of questions I have, I'm planning to answer or trying to answer or should I answer to get to the result? So um, we start with, the, with, for every problem that we do, we do have a certain solution approach that we lay down before we start doing the analysis. I have a background in engineering. Um, I have degrees in mechanical, industrial, electrical engineering, so basically a math-heavy background. So my PhD uh, is in the uh, area of solid-state physics, so that's, that's the area with him, um, which is used to um, work in semiconductors. So um, I used to make chips um, that go into the cell phone and the cell tower. So basically, I was working on the uh, technology end of making cellular communications happen. So I was, uh, I, I brought in a math heavy background that helped me get into data science. Data science requires a lot of uh, imagination and um, once you have the imagination then the next thing you need are the math skills. So the engineering and analysis, repeated analysis that you develop um, in engineering comes in very handy to do the data analysis. Um, it's just the scale is bigger. We read a lot, data scientists read a lot. Um, we have to because um, a new tool comes out every day. Um, there is a new um, um, way to apply a technique to solving a certain problem. So a technique that has previously not been used for a problem gets used suddenly. Um, I compete in data science competitions, global competitions. So um, through those competitions, I interact a lot with people around the world who are doing data science. So I, I learn a lot of different, applying data science to a lot of different problems through, through platforms like that. Right now, I'm working on a, uh, a project where we are improving the digital experience of the customer. So we look at uh, customer care data, we see uh, where the issues are uh, so that we can go and fix them so that customer experience is a lot better. So R is one of the, the basic uh, tools that we use. We use uh, Python a lot. Um, and then we, some, depending on the situation, sometimes we use uh, any, any of the uh, visualization tools that are out there in the market, um, basic stuff. But with R and Python, we pretty much take care of most of what we need to do. It depends on where the background or what background a person has at the moment and, and where is it that they're trying to go into the big data world. Because there is data science, there is data de developers, and there are people who, who just do the wrangling part of the data, and then there are people who actually do the data science part. For the data science, as I said, creativity, so get to solve more problems, get onto competition platforms, get onto internships, get, get whichever way you can to go work on more problems. Um, you need to have a lot of math background. You need to go, if you don't have a math background, you need to get yourself a math background. You need to learn a few tools um, like R or Python, um, tools that, that you need to, to play with data, basically.